Hi coders, I just want to talk to you about a few things about the end of lab two. So the first thing I want to say is, you can see I've got my screen set up here with one on each side, Visual Studio Code on the left, my internet browser on the right. I am viewing this with the live server, which if you installed all of your extensions the way I explained in week one, that should be available to you. That means that if I make a small change here, then it will show up right away over here the minute I save it. So I notice that when this window gets small, the images kind of jump out of my 20% taken out of both sides. So the fix for that is one more attribute on the image tags. So let's see, oh, that would be 5.html. Where is my first image tag? Well, one thing I can do is I'm going to open this a little wider. Plus, I can close this navigation by clicking this double page icon here. To close the navigation will just give me a little more real estate here so I can see all of this better. All right, the first image is right here. And I'm going to add one more attribute. Remember, I put it after the quote mark, but inside the right angle bracket. And the attribute is going to be style equals, and my quote marks appear for me. And here I'll type width colon 100%. So when I tell this to be 100%, it's going to be not 100% of the image, but 100% of the width of the parent container. Its parent container is probably main because that's what is setting the width of everything. You can tell parentage by these straight lines. There is a view command palette and if you installed format document, it will reformat your document so that all the indents are correctly. That might be something that you have to install. I see a little thing that says I need to save that, so I'm typing command S. And all I have to do is copy this style. I'm going to copy the space as well. Let's see. Copy, command C, and just add it to each of these. And that way, all of my images, where's the next one? five and six. I think there's eight altogether. Okay, so that's one set, one attribute that I don't think I taught you in the lab, but it's handy to know. The next thing I want to talk to you about is this navigation. So you've learned how to do, so far, Hannah has demonstrated that she knows how to do a link for the background image, which is a URL link. That's one way of doing a link. Another way of doing a link is this kind, the image link. So that's two kinds of links she's shown us. She's done another kind of link, and this is when you link another page to your website. That's these two links up here at the top. This is called a relative link because you're just telling it that relative to index.html, five is right beside it. There's another kind of link I want to show you how to add up here. I did talk to you about it in the slideshow, but it's a contact me. It's an email link. So let's take a look at a breakdown of these links. I'm just going to separate them so that you can look at them on a line. There's link one with the pipe symbol after it. There's link two. Let's put a pipe symbol. I'm just going to copy this and put it here. And I'm now I'm going to add link three. It's going to be contact. Now just like the other links, I'll put an A tag before it and a closing A tag after it. So that's that part. Now I need to add the attribute to the start a tag that will help us get to the link. That will be href 
equals, there's my quote marks, mail to, all one word with a colon. And then I'll put my email address and save. So now you can see there's a contact. If I click on that, it should go to my email address. I don't want to email myself, but now I know that works. So I can take this, all these nav links, copy them, go to the index page, and replace. Save. So now let's look at the index page. And there's the contact on that one. I'm not going to click it because we don't need to go to my email. So now you know what kinds of links do you know? You know relative links, that's these. You know a mail to link, that's that one. You know a URL image link. And you know a regular image link. Oh, you also know the iframe link, which is the one that you get from YouTube. So that's quite a few different kinds of links. What we haven't talked about yet is the bookmark link. So let's look at 5.html. This is too long. You should never really ever build a website that has that much scrolling involved. But some people do it anyway. So what I'm going to say is at the end, at the beginning of each section here, I think underneath it we should have a line that says back to the top of the page. So let's find this over here. It is number two. That's number one. So here's number two right here. So I'm going to add that text back to the top of the page. There's the text. Save. Let's see if it's there. There it is. Now what I want this to be is a live link. So to make that back to the top of the page a live link, I'll begin by putting my link tags before and after it. Save. Nothing shows here. It's still not linked because I don't have the href on it. So I'm going to say a href equals. And inside my quote marks, I have to decide what do I want it to go back to. I want it to go back to five topics to learn about. So I'm going to go up here at five topics to learn about. Where is it? Right here, this H1. And I'm going to add an ID of ID equals, and I'll just call it top. You can call it anything you want, but whatever you type there, you have to refer to, where am I? Back to the top of the page, right here. So in between those quote marks, I'm going to put hashtag top. If I save this, it should work. Back to the top of the page. Well, it's a terrible color, but when I click it, it goes back to the top of the page. So I can copy this line and put it at the bottom of each H3. Put it right there. It's only going to refer to that one top that I added to the H1. Where is the next H3? There it is. I can tell I didn't add it to all of them. Let's see, I added it to number five. Did I add it to number four? Not yet. Did I add it to number three? Yes. And it's on number two. So I'll do a save. And here it is, purple because it's been visited, but still, that's a horrible color, right? Terrible color. There it is there, there it is there. And next week, I will show you how to change all of the link colors. But in this way, you've learned the bookmark link, 
which is this, that takes you to a different spot on the same page. You've learned the regular image link with its alt tag. Good job, Hannah, you have an alt tag on all of them. I showed you how to add a width that will keep it contained. You've learned the relative links that are these. You've learned an absolute link, which is this. It's to a URL. And you have learned uh, the mail to link. That's a lot of different links. Good job, you guys.